Our other top story tonight, a man from Dearborn is headed back to the U.S. to face accusations of being an ISIS fighter. News that comes as quite a shock to neighbors who said they hadn't seen him in a long time, but now they know why the FBI came knocking on his door. Our Sean Lay spoke to them today. Sean. Here in Dearborn, his family calls him a saint. Coalition forces call him an ISIS fighter, trying to escape Syria when he was caught. Tonight, legal experts, they're weighing in on this case. On the other side of these tracks separating southwest Detroit and Dearborn is Riverside Drive and the Musabli family home. FBI agents raided the home just days ago, and neighbors wondered what was going on. What did you see? I just saw five or seven, you know, FBI cars over here. What did you think when you saw them? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I just was a little worried over there, looking over there, what's going on over there, you know. The feds were after evidence inside the home after the couple's son, Ibrahim, a 28-year-old U.S. citizen, traveled from here, according to the feds, to Syria and was identified by ISIS members as an ISIS militant. Had you not seen Ibrahim in a while? No. Did anyone wonder where he was? No. Literally, he was caught in the act of supporting ISIS. Local four legal analyst Neil Rockhine calls this a strong case for the U.S. government. Ibrahim Musabli was captured, trying to escape one of the last areas in Syria held by ISIS. He will be transferred back to the United States and put on trial. In this case, they're going to be able to show that the, the accused actually left the country, that he was actually captured by forces who are fighting ISIS abroad in the Middle East. What's your reaction that he was allegedly captured in Syria as an ISIS militant. Shocked. One word right there, shock from that particular neighbor. In the meantime, family members who live in certain houses up and down that street would not come to the door today. The only comment on this coming from Ibrahim's brother. He told the New York Times, Devin, calling his uh, brother a saint and that he, quote, wouldn't hurt a fly. Back to you. Well, Sean, you spoke with neighbors who I guess we would describe as, uh, well, they felt like they knew him, right? Knew him, knows his mom and dad, know his mom and dad very, very well. Certainly, they say they did not expect any extremist activities uh, yeah. coming from that particular son. They did notice he's been gone for quite a while. They were wondering where he was. Yeah. All right, Sean.